Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to Trains in World 2, the London commuter add-on. Today we are playing a scenario called Long Haul, where we're starting in Victoria Sidings. This morning we've been tasked with taking this formation up to London, Victoria to make a suitable, uh, to make a train suitable for peak times even. Helps if I can uh, read it correctly. Hang on, I've just, I've just leapt on the track there without looking around. That's no good at all. So we're going to be driving this class 377 by the looks of things in the gorgeous southern livery. 377 stroke 1 today. Why can't I get over the track? There we go. We'll, uh, we'll climb up into the unit. We'll get the cab prepped. Get that door shut behind us. Uh, can we... Uh, hello? Why? Oh yeah. Hang on, so we need that to open first, then them, and uh, yeah, it's a while since I've driven the 377 and I had to prep it from uh, from scratch. There we go, so we'll sit in the driver's seat, make sure the AWS is on, uh, driver key in, yeah, lovely. And uh, what are we doing here, so we're popping a bit of, bit of day running lights on, and uh, away we go. If we, uh, oh, we've got the... Uh, Got the position light already. Uh, now it has to be said, I've I've kept revisiting this route because uh, it's it's a flipping good route. I really do enjoy driving this. I, I it's I always think a good route. <coughs> excuse me, still not shifted this flipping cough. Uh, a good route is something that you want to come back to and you actually want to spend time on. And there's so many add-ons where I'll just do them. You know, I'll I'll play them for YouTube, and then. I literally won't go back to them. I mean, what other add-ons can we say for train sim? I haven't been back to Cathcart Circle uh, pretty much since I drove it for you guys. That's not necessarily a thing about Cathcart Circle as a bad route. I just don't I don't enjoy the route. I don't enjoy the, the, the type of services that you simulate on there. You know, it's always very stop-start, stop-start with a very slow 314. You might like that sort of thing. I prefer a kind of semi-express, express kind of route. That's uh, That's what I prefer. Uh, so we'll just uh, we'll just slow down because obviously we're at a single yellow. So we'll just take it nice and steady into London with the next signal uh, being a red. But yeah, because this has got such a mixture of traffic on it, you know, you've got the Gatwick Express, you've got the Southern, which is kind of semi-express, you've got stopping services. There's so much that you can do, and there's loads of traffic to see as well. And and this is a really really good route. I'm a little bit disappointed that they didn't do this earlier. I really am. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I am a little bit disappointed that they didn't do this route earlier because, of course, uh, you know it, it just it just would have been brilliant if this was the first route that came with Trains in World Two. I really think that people's perception of Trains in World Two would have been a lot better. Uh, I know that it's it has struggled with a lot of criticism, but I I do really enjoy this, and I can honestly hand on heart say I'm not being sponsored by Dovetail Games. You know, I'm heavily critical of Dovetail Games, but. Uh, I can honestly say this is a really good route. It's not without its faults, not without its faults. Uh, we're playing the unenhanced version. There is a patch that you can get uh, which enhances it a little bit. Uh, right, we need to contact the signaller. So we might actually be doing a bit of coupling today. It's, uh, there we go, contact the signaller. And we've got our little position lights. So couple to the formation of four vehicles. Okie dokie. Off we go. about 20 mile an hour isn't it uh, so this is yeah this, this is brilliant particularly I, you know I'm a lover if they have us coupling and uncoupling stuff uh, and I'm hoping that the actual because you've got over a thousand timetable uh, scenarios to do yeah that was what I was saying sorry you've got over a thousand timetable scenarios to do so if some of them involve coupling and uncoupling at peak time absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant I mean I've not really played many of them yet because I've been doing the actual scenarios like what we're doing today um, but I'm, I'm sure I'll get round to it because what I like as well is a good a good lengthy route to just potter up and down you know like East Coast where I could drive it to one end get out change ends drive the same unit back again get out change ends drive it back again it, it was a really really good you know really really good route I enjoyed that Right, let's have a look. So we need to couple to the other class 377. Are we uh, are we going to do the, the actual where you're meant to stop beforehand or are we going to go straight onto it? I reckon we're going to go straight onto it because Trends in World doesn't tend to give you time. Uh, it doesn't 
give you time to do things. It'd be nice if we had a nice slow speed button as well. We might have a low speed button. There we go. We're just a little bit slower. Half a mile an hour. Is that uh, is that enough? Just bang straight onto it. There we go. Coupled. Brakes on. Yeah, hang on. Not emergency. Uh, yeah. Unlock the doors. Key out. Master key out. There we go. So we've another driver will take over this service. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, right. Ah, so we're going to get to drive a bit of both. Right, okay. Well, we'll turn the headlights off. There we go. And uh, the tail light should be set to auto. Well, that's incorrect. Um, so we shall... Tail lights auto, tail lights off. Yeah, when you've, when you've got tail lights as auto, they should, uh, they should switch themselves off. So that's a bit disappointing uh, that that's not happened. Hang on, so I'm going to have to do this because I don't think I'll be able to live with myself if I don't. We've got tail lights off. Lovely. Uh, hang on, have I just left that door open? I think I have, haven't I? No, open, open. There's, you know, there's a Gatwick Express service going late because of this. There we go. We'll have to shut the cab door so passengers... Oh, no, hang on. We're, we're, we're stuck together now. We can open that. Perhaps you're thinking too much into this, Joe. Well, perhaps I am. There we go. Open. Oh, wow. Look at that. Brilliant. Right. Shut that up. Sensational. Right. Now I feel like I've done a good job. No, not you... Oh, you're there. That's why. Look at that. Brilliant. Right. Now this Gatwick Express service is going late, because I've been buggering about with that. Should we get on and have a wander through the train? Is there anyone on board? No. It's, uh, it's very clinical, isn't it? We're not walking through. There we go. We'll jump off. No, uh, no lights are on in that bit. Can you actually walk through the two trains? Yes, you can. They've got it set up correctly there. Happy with that. I was uh, I was beginning to think that they'd have the two cabs locked in the middle. But uh, no. They didn't appear to. Why are you not getting on, love? You you press the button. Doors are released. Driver's not there yet to uh, to pop the uh, the old headlights on. I'm hoping that this is the 740 departure. Oh, I like the echoey sounds. That's brilliant. Right, let's have a nosey. What's happened there? Shouldn't they be locked open when they're... There we go. Lovely. Right. Sit in the driver's chair. Uh, now. Why are we in reverse? Hang on. Put your key in. There we go. Now we need to lock the doors. Why are we locking the doors? There's a red signal there. Why are we locking the doors? We can now start this journey southbound. We can't! Oh, the signal's gone uh, gone green now. Right, okay. What time were we meant to leave? I don't know. It's not telling me. Let's uh, let's go on the whole uh, escape menu. Uh, load passengers. Uh, Gatwick Airport at 801. Right, okay. Um, yeah, we'll, uh, we, we can hope that that happens. Never mind, that was due to uh, me fannying about with that. But if the game had been set up correctly, uh, that has lost you some points there, Dovetail Games. When you connect the two units together, if the tail lights are on auto, as far as I am aware, they should switch themselves off, hence the term auto. Uh, now, that's something that happens with a lot of units, the 185s, for instance. Um, they, when they are connected, will switch the headlights off automatically because it recognises that they're connected. Um, yeah, as far as I'm aware... Uh, from when I've observed them being coupled, the, uh, the the drivers don't seem to press a button. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's a little bit that needs sorting. That's a little bug we've found there. Because I could not let that train leave with tail lights facing each other in the cab. I mean, what am I, a monster? <coughs> Where are we actually going on this train? I've not looked. So we're going to Gatwick Airport. Oh, we're just going to Gatwick. Oh, okay, fair dues. I was, uh, I was hoping to do a scenario where you get the full run from Brighton up to London. Uh, but from looking, it doesn't appear that there are any. Uh, I mean, there might well be. 
Oh, let's have a look. Let's get a let's get a nice picture there. Oh, look at that. That that is lovely. A bit zoomed out. Oh, lovely. Oh, but I, I don't like that. Brilliant. Now, are we speeding? No, we're not just yet. That's the good thing about the 387. It seems chronically slow. Oh, wow. I've never actually looked at... I did not realise you went over a river on this bit. Well, of course you do. I've, that, that's me not paying attention when I'm driving in and out of Victoria. I'm in my own little world. But, I mean, from this angle, like here, we're going over a bridge. You don't necessarily notice that you're going over a bridge, do you? But you are. So, uh, yeah, there we go. We'll, we'll let Joe off on that one. We will. We'll let Joe off. I can't believe we didn't take that uh, that pair of 377s. I was really looking forward to uh, to driving them. <coughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I like the 387 and I like the fact that, uh, that there's a bit of variety. But, I mean, really? Do, does anybody that, that, that works at the franchise know? Would a southern driver get out of a southern unit. I would have imagined that if you were a Gatwick Express driver, you were a Gatwick Express driver. Are they, are they all under the same umbrella now? So if you were a southern driver, would you drive a southern unit in and then take a Gatwick Express out? Because, I mean, whilst I like the fact that Trends in World, you, you get to drive both units, would that happen? Or would you be a dedicated Gatwick Express driver? I know at one time you would have been one, like the 460s, the 442s, but I had heard that they brought them under the same umbrella uh, so w would that ever happen would you pop on the Gatwick Express and then pop over to Southern you know you'd... I don't know I don't know if you happen to know do of course let me know in the comments because I'm always eager to learn this part of the world really does intrigue me and uh, despite the fact that we often get chased out of town when people hear the northern accents uh, I do enjoy traveling on uh, on this area of, uh, of the UK rail network I really do it's uh, I mean Clapham Junction in particular I can just stand there and just, it's just mesmerising, the train's just flying in and out. Really is. Right, there we go. Up to uh, up to 60 miles per hour. I think the thing that this is missing is uh, some southwest uh, kind of 450s. Hopefully that could be uh, the next add-on that we see. I mean, wouldn't that be brilliant? London uh, down to, down to wherever. London, Waterloo, down to somewhere. And then round here they could add, you know, like they've added the southeastern units in, they could add all the southwestern stuff over there. That'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Absolutely fantastic. Through Clapham Junction, not stopping at all there. <coughs> Some people were complaining as well, you know, the, uh, the, the rattly sound that you get in the cab. They, they were complaining it was irritating, but I mean, to be fair, I quite like it. The uh, You kind of imagine that there would be some rattles on these trains, so I think it adds a little bit of... It's like OMSI buses rattling, you know, and saying, ooh, I don't like the rattles, whereas, you know, buses do rattle. You know, they rattle about all over the place. I mean, I, I just love as well how much traffic you see on this route. You really, it feels alive. And I said this in my last video, but it does feel alive. You know, there's there's traffic everywhere. Missing the people. Uh, I mean, this would be brilliant on multiplayer, wouldn't it? Could you imagine if they actually brought out multiplayer and there would be a service um, in each direction? You know, like you could join a server and take over any service. You know, and if there's one driver in that, that service runs to time. I think they'd have to regulate it, because, I mean, if I just, you know, if this was multiplayer and I just slammed the brakes on now, I'd spoil it for everybody else, wouldn't I, if I just sat here blocking a line. But, uh, yeah, if, if you actually, you know, if you were more than five minutes late, it booted you off or something like that. And you could just join, pick a service you want to drive, and then it'll spawn you in that. That would be brilliant, wouldn't it? Absolutely fantastic. The, the level of traffic really does support multiplayer, because look how many people you'd be passing. So many. Um, I, I don't think, and perhaps I'm cynical, I know that they did promise us that, didn't they? They did promise us multiplayer uh, with Trends in World 2, which was part of the reason that they went from Trends in World to Trends in World 2, wasn't it? Because they were like, oh, um, Trends in World 1 won't support multiplayer, or it won't support what we want to do with it. Something like that. I'm totally honest with the advert. I've kind of lost interest in it a little bit. God, look at the amount of traffic. You can tell it's peak time, can't you? Oh, what's happening with the 377? Oh, it's stopped doing that now. 
God, I thought that that was some sort of trick for Halloween. <coughs> Excuse me. And another one's queued. A lot of queued traffic this morning. A lot of congestion, isn't there, about? Luckily, we're going the correct way. We're going out of London. All of those trains are probably full and standing. Absolutely packed in. And another Gatwick Express. Would they be running a four-car? Flipping neck. You don't see a lot of four-car Gatwick Expresses, do you? I mean, you see quite a few four cars now that uh, other other franchises are borrowing the Gatwick Express units. But uh, yeah, our train, I imagine, will be quite quiet. Especially, are we, are we an eight car? I think we are. Oh, you don't need to look at that, Joe. You can just look at your TMS. Yes, we are an 8 car. We've got a, a lovely pairing today. 377-4216. 4214. So is that 377... Hang on. That's not right. Is that just a number? Does, does that not actually mean anything? Because obviously this is a 387, not a 377. 216. Yes, yeah, so we've got 216 and 214. I don't know if that's meant to say 377 there. Or if that's a bug and it's meant to say 387. I don't know. I've, I've never been in the cab of one of these. Um, yeah, if you know the answer to that, then of course let me know in the comments. Uh, should that say 387? Because I imagine that the 3774 is, because obviously they were all 377 stroke 4s, weren't they, on the, uh, on the East Coast way. So maybe, maybe they've just copied that over. I don't know. I don't know, to tell you the truth. But, of course, I would be very interested to know. We're flying along now. We're not quite at East Croydon yet, because obviously we'll have to slow down for the 45 uh, mile an hour in and out of East Croydon. Where's this, then? Is this Purley? I don't know. I, I don't know much about this. Let's have a look. Oh, I'll be really impressed with myself if it's Purley. No, it's Norbury. It's not Purley in the slightest. It's never been Purley in its life. Hang on. Why? What is going on here? Why have we got no tail lights on? Why is that? I thought we'd solved this issue, dovetail. The 377 I've just brought in had tail lights on. For goodness sake. I, I honestly thought they'd sorted this so the tail lights would be on automatically. Uh, and of course, there is absolutely no way for me to flick to the back cab, unlike on the old train sim. Uh, I would actually have to walk through eight carriages worth of train. So, I mean, it's a little bit late to do that now, but that is, that's not on. I thought you'd fix that. Maybe it's just the one train you've missed, and if it is just the one scenario, then okay, fair dues, we'll let you off with that. But the tail lights need to be on if there's no driver in the cab. It's literally how it works. And if the tail lights aren't working, we should have a little, uh, a little red flashing thing in the window. Or a steady light, I think flashing's for it. I don't know. I don't know what the difference is, but sometimes you display steady red lights, sometimes you display flashing ones. I'm sure I've been told at some point what the difference is between the two. I know that we all have torches in our uh, in our kit bags as conductors, and uh, if the tail lights do fail, we are to put the torch on a red light in the back. I've never had to do it, but uh, that's uh, just so that we've got a tail light if, if needs be. Close to the edge, that chap, wasn't he? Oh, hang on. That's Joe not paying attention there. Ooh, we'll be losing some valuable points there for that. I'm, I'm just foaming about that tail light. All those tail lights. Can't believe it, can you? Foaming about that, so I'm not concentrating on the route. It just goes to show how important concentration is when driving a train, doesn't it? Right, let's get a bit more braking in uh, for the 45 at East Croydon. Perhaps we didn't need to break quite so early. Oh no, that'll do. That'll do.
There we go, East Croydon in all its glory. Very, very busy station as well. Uh, we got off here and uh, yeah, we went up the ramp, not these stairs here, but the ramps uh, the other side. We were taking some pictures on this platform, just by the uh, by the red brick. Just there, we were stood out of everybody's way. And, um, oh, hang on, it's going down to 40 here, flip it heck. Seems a bit odd, given we've not overtaken anything, why they brought us over to the right to then pop us back over to the left again. I'm, I'm not sure why they did that, that's, that's a bit odd. But never mind. Right, off we go again. Is it just 45? I thought we could go to 60 after this. There we go, 60 mile an hour. Full steam ahead. 15 miles in 10 or 11 minutes. Can we do it? I think we can. Honestly, the fact those taillights aren't lit has just ruined the whole scenario for me. I'm telling you now. Very close to the edge. It would be nice if... Um, I mean, she's just not paying attention at all, is she? It'd be nice if they could address that issue because um, it might seem silly, but it's you know it's, it's not something you ever want someone stood that close to the edge when you're driving a train through a station at 60 miles an hour. Um, it's, yeah, it would be nice if, if Dovetail are listening. I wouldn't suppose they were, but if they were watching uh, or anybody from Dovetail, it would be nice if they could change where the passengers are allowed to walk so that they would stand behind the yellow line. Um, unless there's a train there, I don't even know if that's possible to do in the sim. Um, but yeah, it would just be nice. Because that close to the edge is a little bit like, ooh, I feel a little bit uncomfortable with that. I mean, I know that obviously nobody, know of the, none of the AI passengers are actually going to leap off the platform and go, surprise! And, you know, you won't ever have to deal with the trauma of a fatality in a simulator, I should hope, anyway. Um... But yeah, it just, I mean like this, you see, they're really close to the edge. It would be nice if that wasn't there, you know, if that wasn't a feature. And and they could keep them all well back. I don't, like I said, I don't know if that's a thing, but just little things like that would improve this game a lot, I think. Because it's a bit cringeworthy. But we're not going to dwell on that. Because we're having a great time, and uh, and the sun is out. There's not a cloud in the sky, by the looks of things. We're on the uh, on the ninety section. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, where's this? Is this Purdy? I don't know. Can't see a sign. Yes! Ah, there we go. It is not Norbury. That is Purley. I knew it was here somewhere. There we go. Come on, Gatwick Airport. We can do it. I'm confident we can arrive on time. Make up the lost minutes that I spent buggering about with the 377. Wow. Look at that! Uh, I love blasting along here at 90. The um, the the thing that you trains in World 2, you don't really seem to get the same. I don't know. It, it doesn't feel like we're doing 90, does it? Perhaps that's because of the unit that we're in. They're, they're incredibly smooth units. But you you just don't seem to get that same feeling of thrashing along, do you? You know, it only really feels like we're doing about 70. But then when you go outside, that looks like you're doing 90, doesn't it? Thrashing along. Loving it. But yeah, from the, from the cab, you, you kind of feel, hmm, is this it? Hmm, okay. 377 down there, waiting in traffic. 
I mean, there is a lot of traffic going the other way, isn't there? Ten miles in uh, in six minutes. I don't know if we can do it, you know. Banner repeater there, flying over the top. I love how you've got the fast lines and the slow lines here. I really do love it. Come on, we can get up to 90. An extra couple of mile an hour. It'll make all the difference. Powering along, look at that. 90 miles an hour nearly, 89. It's just not clicking over to 90, is it? Flipping thing. Oh, hang on, now we're going down else, we're going too fast. Ah, what's one mile an hour between friends? Eight point four mile, eight point three mile in five minutes. Oh, you see, I think we're going to be late, and I think we're going to lose points, and I don't think we're going to get a gold medal on this scenario, all because of my OCD. Is it because of my OCD? No, do you know what? It's not because of my OCD. I want a simulator to simulate how things are in real life. I don't think that's too much to ask for the money you're paying for these add-ons. <coughs> Let's not get me back on that soapbox. I do love that sound, I absolutely love that sound. I know I say it in literally every video, but that sound of the, the metal wheels screaming along the rails as you're going along. That you can just hear in the background, ah, tree! Well, we've just had a tree to the face. Marvellous. My face is ugly enough, it doesn't need any more trees to it. But uh, yeah, that, that scree screaming sound, it's, it honestly is screaming, isn't it? With wheels on rails. Absolutely fantastic. Just a little, little tiny bit of break on there. Just coasting all the way down. I don't think we're going to do it, you know, especially if we're having to drop down to 80 mile an hour. into the tunnels. Oh, hang on, get a bit of braking on because we're gonna uh, we're gonna be going over the 80 there. Bit sharp, isn't it? But never mind. There we go. We need sharp braking because we need to run to time. So we're bending around to join the slow lines now, aren't we? Yeah, slow lines coming in from the right there. Just a little bit, because we're still going downhill, aren't we? Oh, back up to 90. There we go. There we go, we're on the home straight now. Is it Hawley that's the, uh, the the stop before Gatwick Airport? I think that's the one. I can never remember to tell you the truth. There's that many stops on this line. I'd, uh, I'd, I'm slowly learning it, slowly. You know, I know that Pearlie's one of the stations on the route. I know that much anyway. I'm going to just bring it back down to... Uh, 
within the legal limits. Don't think we're going to do it, you know. I mean, we won't be too late, but, you know, if only I'd have sat off a minute earlier. Oh, let's, uh, let's make a mental note of that. In just less than two miles, uh, we'll be going down to 60 miles an hour. Although, to be fair, it's 2.1 miles until Gatwick Airport, so we should be below that anyway. Uh, oh, look, we're going to be late. I hate running late. Let's have a, a nice little... Let's have one of that. Oh, look how nice that looks. Beautiful. What about a, a one of them? Nope, there's, there's a bit too much shrubbery. There we go. Ah, oh, no, lots of shrubbery. There we go. I don't know what that's going to come out like, but, uh, you know I'm a sucker for a nice picture. Oh, there we go. We're officially late now. Officially late. There we go. We'll, uh, we'll bring it down to notch two breaking. Oh, a bit close to the platform edge again. Oh, plane's going over. So hopefully the next signal after this will be after Gatwick Airport Station, which I believe it is. Yes, it is. Okay, we'll just leave it in notch one breaking. Did it say we were going in on platform seven? I think it did, didn't it? Pop a bit of notch two breaking on because otherwise we're not going to stop for the red signal. Maybe a bit of full service. See, up north they seem really bothered about, like, oh, make sure you're not breaking too much, you know, comfortable rides and all that. Down south they just, I mean, it, maybe they are, but they don't seem to bother about ride quality. It's just get there on time. There we go, doors are open. So, uh, so there we are. That is our next scenario. Thanks so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, then of course click that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Other than that, thank you so much again for watching. I appreciate every single one of you sticking it out this long. And uh, hopefully I shall see you next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.